the votes have been cast and counted. And as one gobshite here at home is spared the rod, another far across the sea is behaving like the spoiled child. However, amidst all of this chaos, there are still moments for rest and relaxation. This is Lockdown Bard. Of course. There we are. This week's poem is entitled On a Blind Harper, Part 1. Nicholas, uncover the harp. Set free that cooling fountain. Play now many a novel strain. Sounds that will dispel my fever. Travel the ways of music. Make my flood of depression to ebb. Keep me from melancholy. Let the pulse throb from music's heart. The strings of thy instrument will hoist the sail of courage for those that are bewildered. The vigour of the flock from thy eight fingers will awaken the stupor of our spirit. Women in travail and sick folk sleep at thy fairy music. When thou revealest the tuneful harp, no man complains of crimson wounds. No man gives heed to the tormentor's bond on the brink of thy stream of melody, nor to the voices of the cuckoos of May. In what wilderness or hidden fastness, in what elf mounds didst thou contrive to set a crown upon harp music, unknown to all before thee? Was it the hand of Kraftana, that famous minstrel, that taught thee its secret, the melody of thy fingers in measures? Or is it come from the music of Kaskor? Or hast thou heard of some of the playing of him who by guile won Dirin, whereby thou hast ever since followed the tuneful strain since the time of Overtuck? Or was the teacher thou didst find that king of music, Blonid's mate, in whom Fionn the prophet put faith beyond love of all Aaron's players? Or was it the envy of all other players in the land of promise that banished thee from the elf mounds in revenge for thy musical note? If the angelical glory is promised to him whose heart is best, the man with thy good heart has merited heaven, thou Kraftana of Cashel. Balm to heal the senses, physician of the hidden sword, Cure of fever at death's point, such is thy finger, O Nicholas. Now stay this time. The title is interesting, seen as blind harpers were actually quite common. In a survey done by Edward Bunting at a harping contest in the 1800s, he found that six out of ten harpers were blind. The poem makes references to the eight fingers, and you may think that the harper is missing a couple, but thumbs were not traditionally used in harp playing. You could use them to mute the strings, but you wouldn't use them to pluck strings. And we also see here the motif of music being taught to humans, especially particularly wonderful, exceptional musical skill being taught to people by the fairies. And there we have the references to the elf mounds, the, the blessed land, things like this. I hope you've enjoyed this poem and thank you 
for listening.